This is the latest version of QNAP's QTS store, has version 1.13 of Plex Media Server. However, if you go to the Plex website, their download area, and go to QNAP, they've got a version 1.14. Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about QNAP and Plex. It's going to be a very, very quick video because there's something a lot of you guys aren't quite aware of. I didn't really know about it too much and I've never thought about it, but then the more I thought about this particular fact, I realised that a number of people have probably missed it. Namely, if you've installed Plex on your QNAP NAS, chances are, and again this doesn't just go for QNAP, this goes for all NAS vendors and I'll try to do a video for all of them that they don't update their local app centers as much as they should. And consequently, because it's a third party app, the NAS brand, be it QNAP in this case, or Synology, Drobo, WD or anyone, doesn't really go to excessive lengths to make sure you've got the latest version. So, Plex Media Server on your QNAP NAS, if you right now in the latest version, and this is QTS 4.1.1, this is the latest version of QNAP's QTS store, has version 1.13, of Plex Media Server. However, if you go to the Plex website, their download area, and go to QNAP, they've got a version 1.14, a newer version of this app released in December. And I also know for a fact that right now in February 2019, there is a beta, if you're a Plex pass holder, of version 1.15 that you can download directly from Plex if you are a Plex pass subscriber. So, why doesn't the QNAP NAS update? Plex Media Server, you know, with the latest version. Well, a lot of that comes down to simple stability across platforms and the fact that it is a third-party app. You know, when they do get around to checking these things or if the application gets sent to them, then they can install these later versions with testing. But as you can see, this version here is from February 2018 and the latest version was released in December 2018 so a big difference and a lot of functionality has been added to Plex in that time so how do you upgrade to the latest version well there's two ways the one that a number of you may have spotted already is if you go into the user interface of your Plex media server NAS the QNAP here occasionally you will get a pop-up here about a new version a number of you either ignore this or you end up not getting this notification because you don't get this push notification because you've blocked it so there's a number of you that have never seen this bar at the top here. A lot of you just assume that the QNAP NAS, along with its usual updates of all of its apps here, would say there is an update for Plex. And you'll never know there is an update. Do check it out after this video. Second thing you can do is to go to the Plex uh, Application Center itself on Plex's website and download the latest version yourself. Choose the package for the NAS that you're using, in my case an AMD 64-bit download it and then in your Plex uh, on your QNAP NAS go into the application center go up here to the manual installation button then browse your local PC we'll give it an extra minute so that file can finish click browse find it in your download folder and there's our QPKG right there click open and now you can install the newer version of Plex Media Server now this is our current version that we're running here. And again, I'm not saying this version is basic, it's by no means basic, but there's no denying that this is definitely a more out of date version of Plex. And if this is the version of Plex that you've been using all this time, you are several versions behind everyone else. If we zoom out a little bit here, just to get a little bit more on screen, we'll go back to here where this version of Plex is still up installing. I will agree to install this new version of Plex and you will see the difference in that user interface very shortly. We'll go back to there. I may fast forward a little bit, and right now, because Plex is updating, Plex can no longer access the NAS, and then what we'll do is I'm gonna fast forward to the completion of the installation of this file. And now we're booting the new version of Plex on our QNAP NAS. And again, sorry for the delay there, that is my screen capture recording software. If we go into the Plex Media Server app, we can see new version installed. The newer version 1.14 is the current version. That's the original one there. That's the new one, 1.141. And if we go to the Plex Media Server um, user interface, there's a lot more going for it. Again, if you look at the newer version 1.15, in some of my other videos, you will see a big 
big difference. But this has been updated to the newer version of Plex on Acuna NAS. I do recommend you check that out to make sure you stay on top of the latest innovations in Plex and more. And do, do check out that beta of 1.15 out there. There are all kinds of new features rolled into that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.